I have, I have another pet thing which um, I'd really like to talk about. Okay. Um, it seems to me that mo more and more that students and indeed dancers uh, are uh, very aware of everything that their body can do and wanting it to go further and lift their legs higher and do more fuetes and more pirouettes and jump higher, and et cetera, et cetera. But there's one part of the physique which seems so often to get left out, and it's the face, and it's the eyes. Because for an audience, your eyes are at least as important as your points, as your feet, as your turnout, as all of that. And to show that you're enjoying your dancing, to show that you're immersed in the music, to show in your face, it doesn't mean grimacing, but to show that you are absolutely involved in what you're doing, it doesn't nowadays happen that often. Why do you think that is? I, I, I don't know. I, I always wonder, because I don't hear people say, don't use your face, don't use your eyes. Um, we do hear a lot, and a lot of teachers say, don't look in the mirror, including me. Um, but it's not just that, because you take the mirror away and you have, have them in an auditorium or um, on the other side of the studio, and they behave as though they're still looking in the mirror. So it, it ends up in about four seats in the middle of the auditorium that they're performing two or four. And so what you're saying is... It, it doesn't go out there. There are so many, there's, there's so much, and so much to go out to. And you also get, this is obviously one, one of my things, isn't it? Um, that it's almost as though there's a wall, one of those horrible gauzes, uh, you know, for sometimes for the, for the ghosty ballets that are there, and right. that, that makes you completely withdrawn from the audience. Um, but even without the gauze, it's as though they're dancing backwards this way, and not generous, generous with the movement, generous with the, the, the whole feeling of the dancing. So what you're saying is that as someone is hoping to present themselves in such a way as to be noticed, that you, you don't just look at the turnout. You don't just look at whether they are as good to the right as they are to the left. You also look at the eyes. And so things that are inside of you actually are noticeable through your eyes and through your facial expressions. Is that very, correct? Very, very much so. Recently I watched a class, it doesn't, doesn't matter in what company, and there was one girl who was just so immersed in her own movement. It wasn't that she was trying to sell it as such, um, but the love of it just, just came across. And that matters so much. It's 